Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, this is your sixth tutorial, if I'm not mistaken, on Unity. And uh, this tutorial, I'm just gonna do a quick one about uh, the terrain toolkit, uh, since the previous one we did about the terrain. So just gonna want to complete that. And uh, to get, first of all, to get the terrain toolkit, you can simply just go to Google and type terrain toolkit, and the first option will be this page. And then just click it, and it will download it. It's a very small download because it's back in a zip. And uh, or you can just go to the Unity website and under support resources you'll get a, a list of resources. If you go there, see you get a bunch of these. Just click uh, the terrain toolkit right here. Anyways, once you got it, you'll get a zip. You open the zip and you get this kind of file, this uh, Unity icon file called .unity package. And basically, um, this is just like uh, zipped files, but zipped files, if anybody knows what that is, compressed files just for Unity only. So, um, first of all, let's import our toolkit before we even start this tutorial. Uh, what, what the fuck? Alright, um, go to Assets, Import Package, and then click Custom Package because it's not a package from the list here. And then just uh, click Desktop or wherever you dragged your terrain toolkit and click on it. This is, by the way, how to open any other package. Just uh, click import on all of these and uh, give it a sec. It should uh, it should take pretty quick because it's not a lot. When Unity does lag on uh, importing is uh, uh, textures, so images and stuff. That's what it usually lags on. Anyways, once you got it, um, you get a standard assets with a font, which doesn't really matter. And you get the whole terrain toolkit. All right now, let me just pause this video for one sec. All right, excuse me. Uh, okay, now once you got the terrain toolkit in, you got this uh, very important script right here, and that's basically all you need. So, first of all, let's create our terrain, right? So, go to terrain, click create terrain, just like we did in the previous tutorial. Then you get this big massive terrain. Yay! Uh, let's zoom out so you can see all of it. Let's actually um, desize it. Make it a bit smaller, uh, 1000. Actually, 500 will be good. 500. It's also just, you know, for symmetric. And click set resolution. And then we can zoom way back in. Alright, anyway, here we have our terrain. Now we get our usual terrain script. Let's uh, even import the assets for it. So, import package, terrain assets. Great. Now, uh, while I'm importing, let me explain to you. Um, Terrain Toolkit. What it basically does is, uh, it's a script that uh, it has a little interface. Interface. I'll show you in a sec. And what it does is basically generates the terrain for you, and also generates the paint for you, and does everything for you automatically. And you just adjust parameters, and it already paints everything for you. So I think it's if you're dealing like with a massive game with a massive terrain, you don't want to go and hand paint it and smooth it and hand paint, and then this hill is bigger than this one and all that. You can just use the terrain toolkit; it's a lot easier. And to use it on the terrain, simply uh, drag the component right on your terrain object, and there you go. And now. Uh, Whoa. Right, so it automatically opened that. Anyway, so once you open it, you should get three buttons. And I'm going to go through each of them. Right, so first of all is create. This will automatically generate um, a, ter a terrain. Well, not a terrain, but um, bumps, hills, or rivers, or whatever you want to generate. It will autom automatically generate it for you. All you have to do is put in the amount of cells. By the way, the more cells you have, the longer it takes to generate the terrain. You have to define the feature type, meaning how the hills will look. Will they be flat top hills like in a desert, or maybe round hills like in a plain, you know, vast plain, or maybe you want to be in uh, like Mount Everest or something. Anyways, you also have these advanced settings here, which uh, talk about how the cells interact with each other. The this uh, more option means there can only be one hill. There there won't be like two hills neighboring. And this says that um, well you can have hills neighboring from across. Uh, I won't talk about this option because I don't really know what it is. But you don't need to know what it is either. So, uh, anyways, features is like uh how much uh how often will you see like hills and stuff. Uh, scale is how high your hills will be, and blend 
is uh, it's like a smooth parameter for your hills. And so let me just play with these settings a bit, show you kind of uh, what you get. Make it really s low scale, high blend, and I'll 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 test it first with low cells. I'm, I'll make ten cells, and then generate Rooney terrain. See, it's generating. The more cells, the longer it takes. And bam. All right. So we got our terrain, easy as pie. But this one is really messy. So I'm gonna tone the features way down, tone the scale down, and uh, generate Rooney features. Let's see what that does for us. Ah, see, we made a lot less uh, features, so it's a lot less hills. Anyways, you can play with that all all night. I don't wanna all night, all day, whatever you're at. I don't wanna get into that. But let me just talk about these buttons here. These here are uh, algorithms that I don't know who made, uh, but they imported them into uh, Unity, and these are algorithms algorithms for creating terrain so the Rooney algorithm you obviously saw what it did now the fractal uh, let's try that on All right. so generate fractal terrain uh, yeah that's what it does just to kinda show you I thought it better show you than to explain it straight off uh, next is the Perlin Perlin noise I think that's the, the name of it Yep, and this is what this does. Uh, and then you have th smooth, which isn't really a an algorithm for uh, generating terrain, but it, it literally just smooths your terrain down. So you have like a really bumpy terrain because the player obviously can't walk on this. So let's uh, make s let's smooth it down. And see, that's a lot smoother. You can even smooth a couple times just until you get the right amount. And I want to show you, if I go back to the Rooney terrain, make it a lot more cells. Uh, scale, lower the features. Um, and I generate it. And watch how many cells I have. Now I have 50. Before I had 10, which was like crazy different. See, it takes a lot longer. Right? So let's just wait for this to be done. Any second now. See, it's, it has to like generate each cell uh, separately. So there, see the difference. It's uh yeah, it's a lot longer. Uh, anyways, you have you have this last option in the create section. It's called normalize, and this is basically making uh setting the max height and ba basically setting all the height of the hills hills the same. So you set like a minimum height of hill and then maximum height of the hill and then you normalize the terrain and see it sets them like a lot uh it sets them like the same. And if I just put zero point one by zero point one, actually uh, let's make that a three by three. Watch what that does. It just smooths out completely and no matter what, even if I put one in one, it'll always stay smooth. Get it? So now if I put this like way here, uh, see, because we already smoothed it completely down, so we have to regenerate it. Anyway, you go ahead and play with these. Uh, you can also have uh, all sorts of presents in the Perlin uh, algorithm. But I want to talk about this next. Uh, I want to talk about this next thing here, called erode. All right, but let me just pause before that. I'm sorry for the quick pause. Um, I see we're almost hitting 10 minutes, so I'm going to end this uh, short. Uh, anyways, erosions are basically uh, what kind of effect all kinds of uh, uh, things have on your terrain. So, for example, if you have like a water flowing here a lot, then it will create like a river bank so or a waterfall. So that's an erosion. Now, on here, you got all kinds of erosions. You got tidal. So if there was like a tide here, then what effect it would have, then it would apply the effect that the tide would have on the terrain if it was real life. Hydraulic, if it would apply the effect as if, uh, you know, a lot of water is coming down your terrain. 
And usually thermal and hydraulic will give you the best results, I've been told. I am not a uh, 100% of this. So you just uh, you mess around with these, like, for example, wind. Think about how wind and hydraulic would affect like a real-life terrain, and that's actually what it's supposed to do in this. So you you can just play with all these parameters. I'm not going to go over all of them because we're kind of running out of time and I plan to make this a short one. So let's get right ahead into the most easy part, I think, which is the textures. Now first of all, you had it to, you have to add a textures to your uh have to add textures to your terrain. So let's first of all add textures. And we don't want this cliff texture. Let's select um uh the grass and rock, uh, dirt, just like before, right? Actually, grass. Let's select grass, all right? So this is the first uh, material we have. This is like the bottom. Then the next, we want to add dirt. And then after that, we want to add a cliff. So like the cliff is at the top. So let me just find that cliff. There we are, cliff. Right, so now the way it works is you have here, um, uh, you have uh, their number, one, uh, zero, one, two, and you have up here their number, um, one meaning zero, two meaning one, and so forth. And so that's how kind of it, how it goes by height, right? They put one at the bottom, uh, two after that, and three after that. And uh, um, yeah, so let's test that out. Hold on, let me pause this one more time. I'm getting like issues with my mouse. Alright, sorry for that. Um so uh yeah, um last thing I want to show you is this here. Uh this is like um excuse me, I mixed you up before. This is the cliff texture, so we actually have to put the cliff texture here. And these are the two textures that will be uh scaled over. So uh, this is texture 2 and this is texture 1, right? So texture 1 will be at this height and texture 2 will be at this height. So these are like the 0 is the minimum height and 1 is the maximum height. And you can scale them uh, where texture 1 will be and where texture 2 will be. And it basically goes like this. So imagine this scale just right next to the height of your terrain. So if you click, if you actually click add procedural texture, and you get a very nice result. See, it, uh, it just paints everything for you. Even put a plan hydraulic erosion to it. Whoops. All right. See, and you can get very nice results very easily. Automatically paints everything for you. And if you even wanna like have the uh, grass under over the dirt, or uh, excuse me, under the dirt, then you can just switch them up just like in real time and see now the dirt is above grass is under uh... so that's it for the terrain toolkit you can also play with the texture slope here alright and see what that gives you uh... but that's it for the tutorial hope you uh... learned a lot and bye bye